Hello everyone and welcome back to Investigations 2. Miles Edgeworth. Prosecutor's path. Dude, I, I, I'm already getting like way too carried away with this because like we've met already so many great characters and it looks like we're about to meet some more. So here we go. Hold it right there. I don't know who that is. We're just gonna have to figure it out. Hello, but my opponent, hello? What the fuck? Ma'am? Uh, this music. What in the hell? Who is this woman? Uh, excuse me, but... <gasps> oh, you are simply irresistible. Well, I mean, it's true. So at least she has good taste. Huh? Do you mean me? No. Pretty sure not. Very nice. Very nice indeed. What an elegant mustache. Wait. Maybe she does mean him? Oh, he took his hat off. Damn, hello. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you, mademoiselle. Defense attorney Ray Shields at your service. How about we exchange greetings with a hug? Listen. I mean, I know she looks really fluffy and everything, but you probably don't want to hug a strange lady, do you? My god, I love her. Oh! <laughs> but of course. Maybe I should give her the French accent. Oh my god, look at the little fox! He wants a hug too. What's a <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> oh shit, well I mean you did ask for it, bro. You kinda did. Oh my, oh. Uh, Uncle Race, lips. Uh huh. A proper greeting should begin with a hug and a kiss. <laughs> it's almost like it was stolen from him. Yes, a remarkable feat of quickness that would put a great thief to shame. I I have no idea what voice to give this lady. I feel that close contact is very important. <gasps> this goes for my family here, in my home, as well. Qu quite a splendid way of thinking there. <laughs> Roland? Patricia Roland? Okay. Oh, she's the warden of the prison. A lady warden for this man's prison, okay. Patricia Rowland. Is there a pun there I'm missing? Sometimes I miss them. I do like that little fox, though. I'm the warden, Patricia Rowland. But please, just call me Patty. Okay, I can't, I can't give her a French accent with a name like that. I'm sorry, dear. Patty Rowland. Oh, I don't even, don't even go there. The warden. So she's in charge of the prison and detention center? Nice to meet you. I am Miles Edgeworth. I'm a prosecu- uh, I mean, I'm Mr. Shield's assistant. Pardon me for asking, but were you here in the prison yesterday? But of course! Yesterday was a day that I wouldn't have missed for the world. Wouldn't have missed for the world? Did you have some kind of important meeting? Oh! Heavens no! I despise meetings. It was the animal show, of course! What? Oh, look at that! Oh no, the circus music is back. Oh, that that doesn't bode well. Oh no, you make the tiger jump through the hoop. That's not nice. A wonderful spectacle featuring animals dancing and flying through the air. I always see it along with everyone else in our home. We're one big happy family. We built a special stage in the courtyard, just for this performance. A performance for the prisoner's enjoyment. Yesterday, Elbert mentioned some kind of recreation. Maybe that's what he was talking about. I suppose the animal show was what he was referring to. Okay, so maybe he wasn't lying about that part. When did this show take place? It started at 8 a.m. and ended around 10 a.m. Look at the little fox, I love him. That's exactly when the body was discovered. Okay. So whoever saw the show would probably have an alibi. Well, maybe what if they, like, left and came back? Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. I have business to attend to. Please, take your time and have a look around our... home. Okay, lady. Aren't you hot in that thing? Good gravy. So... 
Where should we start, Mr. Edgeworth? There was a prisoner who heard the scream from the person who first discovered the body. Yeah, I remember him. Let's start by talking with him. Didn't we try to do this before and it messed up big time? <laughs> Am I wrong about that? It was this guy, wasn't it? Oh, God. Alright, uh, Kay, do you have anything new to say or is it all the same? Yeah, what's up? Did you notice anything? Here's our chance, Mr. Edgeworth. While that demon lady is gone, we can snoop around. Who did you mean? Did you mean Justine or did you mean... Patty? It could be either of them. Demon? Is she referring to Judge Courtney? I don't approve of your words, but let us carry on with the investigation. Alright, let's do it. Man, Edgeworth is upstanding even like, you know... Even though she is a little bit scary, let's be honest. Where is the person who first discovered the body right now? Well, around this time, I think you should be in the workroom in the back. Oh, is he back there, is he? Oh, look at the little kitty! The workroom. I should go take a look. Alright. Well, let's go do that. <gasps> I can talk to the pig! Hello! Oh. It's a potbelly pig. Let's hope it doesn't become dinner. How nice! It's like a zoo! Although, it's the humans who are treated like animals in here. Do you think they'd find out if I took one home with me? I think that if you did that, you'd be the one behind bars. Yeah, yeah, I don't think you can steal the animals from the zoo. I mean, the prison zoo. <gasps> I'm gonna talk to the pony. Hmm, they even have a pony. Little kids could ride it. How nice. Oh, it, it, this is the same. Okay. really want to talk to the bird. It's not letting me. Man. It's ridiculous. Oh, we can examine these? There's some information here about the prisoner of the cell. Mm, let's see. Inmate number D259, species, C cell in the Are you serious? That number? Okay. That's a shoddy explanation. His partner is Rocky the polar bear. He's a former boxer who enjoys training to lose weight. His muscles are tough, but he's a big softy. He's an omnivore, so it says. Who is this information for? For Albert, of course. What about this one? Can we look at this one as well? Hey, something's written here. Yes, it's some information about this inmate. Inmate number D258, species Convictus Brutus. Despite his ferocious appearance, he is an herbivore. His partner is Gwen the Penguin. He has good acting skills and a great stage presence. Delivers powerful testimony. So it says. It's just like one of those information signs at the zoo. This is a little bit like that, isn't it? Can we talk to Ray? You got anything to say there, boy? Oh, Uncle Ray's lips. You're still thinking about that? You seem to be in quite a shock. <laughs> Isn't Warden Roland the type of beauty Mr. Shields likes? A hug is a greeting, but a kiss is on a whole different level. Your Uncle Ray needs time to mentally prepare himself. <laughs> I didn't think you would be such a shy guy, Mr. Shields. Somehow, I don't think that's the problem here. Well, what is the problem? You know what else the problem is? I haven't presented this to Ray yet. Look at this badge! Oh, are you giving this to me? I'm thrilled! A prosecutor's badge might make me more popular than my attorney's badge- Oh wait, I already did- I did I not already do this? Oh shoot. Darn it. Man, that was just trying to do something cool. Yeah, yeah, I remember, because you showed it to us and then we commented that it looked like phoenixes, who we missed very much, by the way. Oh, shot. Thought I, I thought I had my B button mapped and it's not where I put it, so now, now we're stuck clicking. Like a dingus. Alright, well, we haven't asked him about this, so let's do it. Hey, Miles, about your face. Could you loosen it up a bit? <laughs> I beg your pardon? Just me? Yeah, I'm disgusting. Since you're going to be Uncle Ray's assistant, you'll need to smile more. Being an assistant and smiling more have nothing to do with one another. That's not true. The smile's the first step to building trust with a client. Uh, first show a refreshing smile to put him at ease and give him a wink to capture their heart. End with a hug and exchange business cards. That's how you open up a client's heart. L let's just keep that to ourselves, please. I don't know, I thought it was pretty good advice, except for the hug part. I don't know about that. Well, managing the law firm was quite tough at first. It was difficult inheriting the business from Gregory. Is that so? What kind of requests do you usually receive at the office? Uh, usually requests to defend suspects in murder cases and various sorts of legal counsel. Well, our basic policy was we welcome everyone. 
Did you ever have to turn down any requests? Well, if the client wasn't cute enough... Wow. That's discrimination. I thought everyone was welcome. I'm kidding. That was a joke. We accept clients of all sorts. With Greg's name on the line. I couldn't do a half-hearted job. The Edgeworth Law Offices, the law firm that my father built. Edgeworth, how must it feel for you to know about all that now? Hopefully it's fine. Alright, uh... Oh, there's a monkey! Look at it! There's a monkey on that hill, Mr. Edgeworth! Ew, I don't like monkeys, you guys know that, right? Hardly an appropriate spectacle for a prison. When you see stuff like this, you can really feel the tension rise. I hope you're not expecting me to agree with you. Also, Kay... Just so we're clear, I don't want to see you climbing that hill. But... Someone's gonna show that monkey who's boss. Yeah, really. Don't provoke the monkey. Oh. <gasps> a bunny. Hello. What's a rabbit doing here? I almost stepped on it. Oh, how nice. It's like a zoo. It's like a zoo. She says that for every single thing. Hello, can I talk to you? Hey, you there. I'd like to ask you some questions. Oh, so cute, meow. It really is meow. Hey, you. Oh, meow. You finally noticed me. By the way. What's this cat's name, meow? His name is Nermal, meow. Oh, like the Garfield comic. The little gray cat was named Nermal. That's enough. Carry on with your duties. What we have here is a failure to communicate. Oh, nice reference. All right, uh... Nothing over here, right? Oh no, we can examine it though. Where does this door lead to? Don't you feel some strange vibes coming from that door? Maybe they've got a deadly criminal locked up inside. That certainly is possible. It would be best not to get too close. Uh, uh, I was just kidding. Make sure I look at everything. You gotta examine it all. The courtyard lies beyond these shutters, but they're locked. Freedom is right in front of them, but the shutters are locked up. Oh, life is so cruel. I really feel sorry for them. Who are you feeling sorry for? Uh, I mean, that's true. They are in here for a reason, right? Is this the workroom door? I think that it is. I believe so. Hello, is this occupied? Okay, that's not a restroom. Hey, guard. Do you have a minute? Sir, oh, what is it? Is anyone using that workroom right now? Presently, there is one prisoner working inside. I'm positive he's been in there since the noon roll call. We would like to ask the prisoner a few questions, if that's alright. Yes, sir. I will bring him out, so please wait a moment. Alright. Let's do it. Hello, who's in here? <laughs> Someone's in here! I'll leave this to you, Miles. What? What do you mean? Because I don't know what kind of scary guy will come out of that room. Mr. Shields, you're a scaredy cat. Even though you're an adult? <laughs> Same to you, Kay. Who's it gonna be then? Someone really scary, maybe. Here he comes. Hello? What the fuck? St Stop. What is going on with this episode? Are you- Are you serious? We actually have Frank in here. How long has it been since we've seen this asshole? Oh my- Oh my god, what voice did I give him? Do you know how long ago that was? Shoot. Um... Oh, I'm gonna have to come up with something quick. Oh! Good day to you, sirs. Are you the ones who requested my presence? That's gonna have to do. I really don't remember. I'm gonna have to go back and listen. I don't even remember. I haven't seen this dude in years. He doesn't seem like a dangerous criminal. That's right, Edgeworth probably doesn't know who this is, but Phoenix does. My name is Miles Edgeworth. I'm a prosecutor. Wait, we're not supposed to say that, are we? A prosecutor, is that right? Did you see it though, Frank? Did you saw it? What's up? I'm Ray Shields, a defense attorney. Mr. Shields, his demeanor completely changed once he saw who we were dealing with. Is that right? Sorry about that. Uh, my assistant says strange things sometimes. He's not a prosecutor, just my assistant. Hey, get your act together, Miles. Hmm, I guess I messed up. I forgot about my new job. Yeah, you sure did. 
No wonder I thought you were different from the prosecutor who visited me yesterday. It looks like he's already spoken to the best. May we ask you a few questions? Oh! Oh yes, of course, you may! My name is Frank Sawit. Yeah, we know. Did you see anything this time, though? And are you gonna tell me the truth? I bet not. Okay, go for it, Miles. I guess I'll be asking the questions after all. Huh. <sighs> Were you actually hoping not to do any work this time, Edgeworth? Well, guess what? Mr. Sawit, you are aware that the murder that occurred here yesterday, correct? Where were you when the body was discovered? I was in this room where I had been working. What kind of work? Ah, uh, well, my goal is to become a pet groomer. An animal beautician, so to speak. Oh, yes. I was inside cultivating my skills. In any other prison, such training would be unheard of. Yeah, but not here. That was all! Honestly, uh, uh, I did not see a thing. Hmm? Why did he say that? I haven't even asked him anything yet. Oh, oh, this boy lying about some. Which is why, sad to say, it won't be any help to you. Hold it. Yeah, I'm about to hold it. Mr. Sawit, I haven't even asked you anything yet. <gasps> no! Wait, that's... <gasps> even if you were to ask, I would not! You know something, don't you? Oh, it's in your butt now, boy. It's in your butt. Oh, that's... <laughs> Seems he's indeed hiding something. Let's try to press it out of it. <laughs> Whoa. Damn, Edgeworth, you'll go for anyone. What is what is about to happen here? Are we taking him to Chessland? To sexy Chessland? Because every time we go to Chessland, we get lewd. All right, it's lewd, it's lewd hours with Frank Sawit. Not what I expected. First, let us assess the layout of the board. My opponent's condition is... Oh, a lot, though. That's a lot more than we've seen before. <gasps> I'm afraid I didn't see a thing, so I won't be any help to you. This man's expressions do not change much. It's a true poker face. Oh, shoot. Alright, I'm gonna have to pay attention. It may be difficult to read his emotions from his body language. Perhaps I should focus on how he phrases his words. It might reveal what's on his mind. Okay, so don't look at his actual sprite. Like, look at what he's saying. Got it. Now, for the opening move, I'll start by asking about who this man is. Even if he hides his emotions, if I push the right buttons, I'm sure I'll cause a change. Logic chess is lewd and it begins now- oh well, it's only one thing. Go for it. Are you involved with the case? Are you referring to the murder that occurred inside this prison? I had nothing to do with it at all. Is that true? Uh, I would never dream of being involved in a murder plot. How should I put it? I'm an upright model citizen, after all. Uh, you're an upright mo- mm, Are you? Common sense tells me. An upright model citizen would never end up behind bars. That's also true. Tell me about that. Why are you here? Well, I mean, we know why he's here. We technically do. I'm assuming he's still here for that, unless he's done something else in that time. Well, ooh, that is... Tell me what you know about the incident. I already told you, I don't know a damn thing. Oh, I mean, I really don't know anything. Oh, he said damn. Oh, are you angry? Yeah, let's wait and see. Was that the right thing to do? I apologize from the bottom of my heart for that outburst, but I will be of no assistance. Pardon my rudeness. It's just that the murder occurred in this rather confined prison. It seems unnatural that you don't know anything about it. Oh, 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 mm, unnatural? Is that so? If you're looking for the person who discovered the body, you should try someone else. What do you mean? We didn't say anything about who we wanted to talk to, did we? Oh, right here, did I say who we were looking for? Boy, I didn't even say anything. How did you know we were looking for the person who discovered the body? I don't recall saying a word about that. Oh, <laughs> bro, shit, I just got you. Are you sure you don't know anything? Bong. Oh, no. It's right in your head again. No, it was merely a hunch I had. I am but a humble pet groomer in training. I honestly have no recollection of the murder. I am positive that this man is hiding something. Well, you just said that out loud. Was that supposed to be an inner monologue right there? For my next move, I'll ask him about his movements on the day of the murder. We know Edgeworth loves asking about this. 
All right. This man has suppressed his emotions. I will expose his true nature hidden beneath that suspicious smile. Well, only one. Let's do it. What happened on the day of the murder? Let's talk about what happened on the day of the murder. If you truly had nothing to do with it, there shouldn't be a problem, correct? Oh, uh, well, um, on the day of the murder, there was a lot going on. That's probably true. Uh, tell me about your movements. <laughs> I really just want to click this, so I'm going to. I hope that was right. Tell me what you were doing on that day. Okay, it looks like it was right. I wonder if you can do them out of order as well. As I mentioned earlier, I was cultivating my skills as a groomer in training. I was trimming the coats of the animals at the time. Didn't the murder cause a panic? I imagine the entire prison must have been in an uproar. That's true, though. Wouldn't they have, like, gone on lockdown or something? Well, but... There was no panic. I could even hear someone's voice. Really? Was it a scream you heard? Was it laughter that- A scream is what we're looking for, isn't it? Someone's voice. Judging from the circumstances, I suppose it was a scream that you heard. Would he have heard laughter if there was a huge commotion going on? So you do have a recollection of the murder. You kept insisting that you knew absolutely nothing about it. Why the fuck you lying? But you do not give credence to your claims. Well, I thought I heard someone's voice, but in any case, I don't remember it very well. The scream at the time of the murder. It might have been a clue. I'd better keep that in mind. Yeah? What happened on the day of the murder? Let's talk about what happened on the day of the murder. If you truly had nothing to do with it, there shouldn't be a problem, correct? Oh, uh, well, uh, on the day of the murder, there was a lot going on. You said about that already. It'd probably tell me about the state of the prison, because we already asked the first one. What was the state of the prison at the time? Uh, I don't remember it too well. My memory's rather poor. Let's try using that clue. Okay, I thought you said you heard a scream. Yes, yes. Okay, here comes the knight. You don't remember? Ridiculous. I'm gonna throw this horse at you. Didn't you say earlier that you heard a scream? Oh boy. It's still not gone. That was... I could very well be mistaken. At any rate, I honestly do not remember. You still do not remember? Enough with your lies. I ain't lying to you. Uh, I mean, I'm telling the truth. Uh oh, he might be getting mad now, hey? Because he, that, that top part. Okay, yeah, Edgeworth said angry. I'm gonna wait and see on that, because that was a clue from before. In any case... I was absorbed in grooming the animals. By the way, how skilled would you say you are in animal grooming? My technique with the scissors still needs some work. But I am very confident in my handling of the animals. When the animals became frightened, I calmed them with my gentle hands. Don't start it. Let's not, please. Frightened? Why would the animals have become frightened? I don't think that's a common occurrence. Well, that's a good thing, isn't it? Did the- oh, did the scream frighten the animals? Oh, let's ask that. Perhaps the reason they were frightened was because of someone's scream. Why are you trying so hard to hide the fact that there was a scream? Are you concealing some vital information from me? Oh, finally, okay, god, these are taking a long time to break. <laughs> I am doing nothing of the sort. It's true that I heard some sort of scream, but I'm not trying to hide it. He's starting to show his true colors. I should be more aggressive with my next move. I'll ask him about the scream. Okay. What do we want to ask? It's time to give him a tip. <laughs> of the futility of keeping a secret from me. Oh shoot, when did you hear it? Um, probably when, right? That's what I would probably ask first. Oh, I'm laughing too hard. Why is Chessland lewd? When did you hear the scream? Th that's it. I just remembered. At the time of the murder, there was an event going on. It was the animal show. I had gone there to see it. 
So you're saying that since you were watching the show, you did not hear the scream? That's completely different from everything you've set up until now. Oh boy. He's lying. Shut up! So what if it is? I mean- <gasps> My memory's just so hazy. Oh, he said shut up. I'm gonna wait. Was that the right thing? That had more than one answer there, too. The animal show is very enjoyable. What kind of animals performed in the show? Well, um... I believe I saw a whale. No, you didn't. It was- you didn't see it, did you, bitch? <laughs> you liar. You didn't see the animal show at all. Aha. Uh -huh. Toupe almost flew off, boy. I saw it. <laughs> well, that is, I, I sort of saw it, and I sort of didn't. He didn't see the show. This could be a clue. Uh... When did you hear it? No, we already asked that. Who did the screen belong to? Do you know who the screen belonged to? Well, I was mistaken. When the incident occurred, I just happened to be in the courtyard. That's why I did not hit the screen. Let's try using that clue. You didn't see the animal show. Just how deep are you going to dig your pit of lies? It's obvious that you did not see the animal show. Boy, oh boy, that's still not broke. Holy crap. He's got big defense. I just really like making that noise. There's no way out of this. Tell me what really happened. Confess everything you know about the scream. I cannot answer. What I cannot answer? Oh, I didn't hear the scream. From the person who discovered the body. What? Don't you mean the victim scream? Uh-oh. That's strange. He just lied just now. Normally, if you hear a scream during a murder, it's usually from the victim. Why would you think the scream was from the person who discovered the body? Oh boy. Still nothing. Oh! <gasps> My mistake! How? How did you know the scream was from the person who discovered the body? Well, that's because... Oh, he's the one that found it. He's the one that found the body. Okay. That makes sense. Allow me to answer it for you. That is because you're the one who discovered the body. And... The scream that was heard when the murder occurred didn't come from the victim. It came from you. When you discovered the body. Yeah, because Knightley died immediately, right? So he probably didn't scream. <gasps> just, just who do you think you are? Uh, it is just as you say, but... What gives you the right to do this? Huh. Checkmate. We did it, Edgeworth. We went to the land of Lude. We got it right in his butt. Alright. It's now clear who discovered the body. You have no more reason to withhold your testimony. Correct? <gasps> Very well. I'll tell you. But I doubt my testimony is worth hearing. Yep. Yeah, if the, the last game you were in is any indication, I'm gonna agree with you. Whether or not it is worth hearing is for me to decide. I will expose the truth with my own hands. That is my soul, dude. <laughs> and on that note, I think we'll expose the truth with our hands in the next episode, don't you? I feel like there might be a testimony coming up, so let's get ready for that in the next one. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. And I hope to see you in the next episode. <laughs> I'm so sorry that these get so damn weird. <laughs> but not really sorry. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you soon. Toodaloo!